Hello, it's me you're looking for. I can see. No, okay. Wrong thing. Okay, hi, my name is Bam, and today we are going to look at the Daily Trivia Reward System. I know, I know. We'll probably find because this was update 18, and just about every good Warframe YouTuber did a video about it right when it came out. But I did not, so. You know, I'm going to now. I've been making some videos about my login system and whatnot, what I get when I log in. So, I thought I'd give you a possible, you know, give you a breakdown of this. First of all, it doesn't, you don't have to be on every single day. Unlike the last system, you could like you know be on one time a week you know for those people who can't be on consistently every single day it doesn't punish you guys which is a real good thing sometimes i can't be on every day so yeah that's no problem at all and these rewards apparently some of them are marked under rare. I don't know exactly which ones are marked under rare, but apparently with every mastery rank you have, it adds 5% to rare drops. What are the rare drops? We do not know which ones in the system are marked as rare. I assume the um, boosters are marked as rare, but anyway, let's get down to business. You can get from 5k to 15k credit. You can get a fusion core. It's going to be either uncommon or rare. So you won't have to worry about getting a uh, common bronze fusion core. That's pretty cool. Random void keys, you know, that include Tower 1, Tower 2, Tower 3, Tower 4. I just made a video not too long where it let me choose between 1 of 3 that showed up on my screen. And that's what I got. I think I got a Tower 3. Let's see, you can get a 90 minute affinity booster. That is an hour and a half in case you're wondering. So, yeah, that's 90 minute affinity booster, 90 minute credit booster, 90 minute resource booster, 90 minute resource drop chance booster. Now, I personally, um, it depends what you're going for, but I typically like the resource booster better because, you know, you get double whatever drop. But, you know, if you're like in the void or something and you really need an Argon Crystal to drop, increasing the drop chance might not be bad either. And then right below it, the 2 to 3 hour Affinity Booster, 2 to 3 hour Credit Booster, 2 to 3 hour Resource Booster, and 2 to 3 hour Resource Drop Chance booster. You can get 50 cryotic. Now that I want to say might be a super common reward. I mean it's very easy to get cryotic. Just go to a uh, dig site mission with the drill and if you fail or succeed you get some cryotic from it. So that's what if you fail to dig if your drill gets blown up doesn't get blown up, it doesn't matter, you get cryotic. Cryotic. Then two detonate ample, two federon samples, one nerd sensor, one nerd, one morphix, one mutagen mass. That's actually a pretty good reward. I kind of wish you could get um uh well then 
thing, but you know, mutagen mass isn't that bad. Two mutagen samples, one organ cell, ten oxygen. The oxygen is pretty good. I mean, just about any of those flying enemy drop it, but you know, there can be a pinch from sometimes. Ten bonus oxygen. I wouldn't mind getting that. I have got that sometimes. Tellurium, gallium, okay, and these are platinum discount coupons, but as far as I know, for the PS4 and Xbox version, these actually will be in store, you know, you know, actual marketplace coupons and not platinum discount because, you know, we go to Microsoft or Sony to get our platinum and, you know, they don't follow, you know, they can't, they have no way of making a system like, oh, we see you got a platinum discount coupon, go ahead, it's discount in our store. I mean, it would cost a lot of money for D to implement like a code system. Oh, you get a code, it's on the screen now, type thing, that would just be a pain. So yeah, for us, we get, you know, stuff off in the store, but you know, for PC, I believe they get platinum discount. Random Warframe blueprint, random weapon blueprint, former blueprint, Excuse me, which might be rare, but I consider it common personal. If you're in the voice and you want to get something, like you need to farm some prime blueprints or whatever, if you're looking for something, chances are you'll get a former blueprint. It would say, here's a former blueprint. Or you can get two syndicate medallions, which isn't real bad. Now, um, set some notes here, um, you only get blueprints for weapons or warframes that a player does not already have fully mastered on, can be rewarded. So only, um, you know, weapons and warframes you don't have fully mastered, it will give you. So you want to get like 10 dozen fancy um, blueprints like I used to without it being mastered. So that's pretty good. Now here's a tip for the PC I'm assuming. Um, prime access and prime vault purchases count as purchases that will void your premium disc. Count. Ensure you use the Platinum Discount before purchasing a Prime Access or Prime Vault Pack if you decide to get both at the same time. And then there's also note that discounts can only be, cannot be stacked and or combined. And also discounts last for one purchase within the designated time, typically 48 hours. Again, for PC, because we get a different thing. Since our, on console, since our discount is for the market, we actually get to choose when we want to use that coupon towards something in the market. So we spend the regular price buying the Platinum, but then in the market, we get a discount when we buy something from the So that's not too bad. And the thing they introduced in the daily tribute system, of course, milestones. For the 50-day um, milestone, you get an imminent eclipse or three day affinity booster and organ catalyst. 100 day, as 
Zama let's actually take a look at the uh, Zama real quick. Of course, as soon as I get it, I'll probably do like a small showing off of it, but yeah, let's just look at it real quick. Okay, actually, it looks pretty good. It's a pistol auto. I'm not going to go through everything with it, but yeah, this is a little wickier picture of what it looks like. Now, for 150 days, you'll get Login Sigil B, Credit Booster, and Exodus Adapter. Now, I'm assuming the Credit Booster is 3 days, just like the Affinity boosters, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But here's where we it can get interesting. At 200 days, you'll get a primed theory. Theory is well, this prime theory can only be gotten through this milestone reward. I'm not sure if it can be traded or not, it might be able to be, I mean it is a primed mod, so I assume it might be able to be traded, but keep in mind you can only get it once, so if you trade it, you'll have to buy it back for a lot more or something. But anyway, let's look at it real quick. At max it does plus 55% attack speed for a melee weapon. That's actually going to be very, very good. Especially since the regular theory does 30%. So 55, 30 might be pretty cool. I actually can't wait to get that. 250 days you'll get login sigil C you'll get Affinity Booster and Orkin Reactor. It's like the 50 day one, but you'll get uh, um, Orkin Reactor instead of a Catalyst, and you'll get the Login Sigil 3. 300 days now is the Primed Vigor. Now, um, Primed Vigor is going to be pretty cool, actually. That's very cool, in my opinion. Plus 220% shield capacity. And plus 220% health. That is going to be very, very cool, actually. And, as it notes in here, it's going to be the first um, primed mod based off a door stat. Nightmare mod. Yes, it's based off a nightmare mod. Now, we're going to look at Viger real quick and see what it does by default. Normally, it does plus 120% shield and 120% health. I wonder if they're going to keep this the same or nerf it a bit because it's just doubled its shield capacity and health. Let's see, Vitality does at max 440% um, plus 440% and then you're going to add 220% so that's plus what 660% that is a lot of health. So yeah, again, you could probably sell this maybe. I don't know if it's sellable, but keep in mind as of right now, if you get rid of it, you cannot get the mod back. So be super careful. Don't accidentally sell it or trade it or whatever. Well, I wouldn't recommend it anyway. You'll do whatever you want. And then for 350, we get Login Sigil D, Credit Booster, and Organ Catalyst. So that's basically the same as the 150 days, but we get a 
Cadillac and said there have been Exodus adapter. And then for the 450 days, oh, as you see, it's not doing every 50 anymore. It's doing every 100 now. So, the, after the 350 day mark, you don't get your reward till another 100 days of you logging in. Like I said, it doesn't have to be in a row, but it does have to be logging in at some point. I suppose you could it's been a hundred weeks if you want. I mean that might take quite a while. I how many okay, three hundred and sixty five days are in a year. How many weeks are you know, don't have time to do all that. But anyway, um four fifty login sigils E Affinity Booster and Exodus Adapter and then 550 Login Sigil F Credit Booster and Organ Reactor. Now they may make these you know a lot more in the future they may add more but you know it's going to take quite a while for people to reach 550 a PC, a lot of PC users are just now reaching um, 100. So once we see people reach 200, that's when things are going to start getting interesting. Trying to theory, I'll be honest. I will be looking forward to seeing how many are actually in trade because I don't. I know there'll be some people out there who really will want the Platinum and, you know, it will probably be worth quite a bit of Platinum. You, I could see you getting around, what, 2,000 Platinum for this easily? But, yeah, just keep in mind that if you do sell it, there's no guarantee you'll ever be able to get back. You'll have to maybe find a friend who's nice enough and can sell it to you or give it back to you. But I recommend not trading it. That's just my preference. I don't know if it will be tradable, like I said, but I think it will be. And, you know, this video has actually gone on for quite a while. I just, you know, wanted to go through this stuff with you and whatnot. I could have done it from my PlayStation, but to be honest, I'm at my computer right now, and I figured I may as well go to Wikia on here. Oh, look, there's a Star Wars ad somewhere on here. So, yeah. That's pretty neat, I suppose. But anyway, back to the daily tribute. That's the login reward. So, yeah. Get to logging in every day? Well, I don't know. So, yeah, anyway, later.